Hey friends, welcome back. This lesson is titled Peaks and Valleys. And I think it's important to have this lesson included before we continue with the next course. Again, the next course very briefly is all about empowering or almost over empowering your um, manifestation capacities or your ability to choose your chosen frequency and have that ripple effect into very potently and powerfully and rapidly into the space time illusion of your consciousness creation of your circumstances. So before we proceed towards those kinds of tools and understandings, I first want to address the experience that pretty much nobody seems to escape, including myself, which is that of peaks and valleys. So some people call them ups and downs. I don't call them ups and downs because they're not really ups and downs. They're simply peak experiences, accelerative um, curves, so to speak, where you um, enter this accelerated stream of empowerment and consciousness and having new realizations and having new dreams and having them show up for you in physical reality. And then there is periods in your life or times in between these peak experiences where things seem to go a little slower, where your law of attraction skills seem to perhaps not be working as well. Perhaps your frequencies are a little bit more mixed. You have a little bit more on your plate. It feels a little bit heavier and denser than when you were sky high in your peak experiences. Now this confuses many people and it makes them turn valley experiences into downs by labeling it negatively and by not having a more holistic understanding of what this process is all about. Because the valley experiences are just as crucial, if not more crucial, than the peak experiences when it comes to your expansion and your spiritual journey. So I have found great acceptance within myself of these valley experiences. And sure, there's a part of my mind that might suggest that it's funner and more entertaining and more enjoyable to be in the peak experiences, especially in the past. But now I've really come to a full rounded sense of satisfaction with both my peak periods as well as my valley periods. And I think this is really important for everyone to understand before we proceed with the next course. Because if not, you can throw yourself off balance. And again, I will share some powerful tools and techniques in the next course. And in order to apply these appropriately, you need to have the finer balances with this, which is this chapter's focus, sort of sorted out and at least be aware of this principle of peaks and valleys. So what are the peaks? Well, you probably are familiar with them, at least to some extent. The peaks are where everything goes smoothly or more smoothly than you are at least used to or normally allowing into your experience. So things happen faster. You had an idea yesterday and suddenly the very next day, opportunities arrive and everything seems to become more and more exciting in your life. Things seem to be looking up in the traditional verbiage of this. Things, you're on an upward spiraling experience. You're accelerating. The peak experiences need to be followed up at least for pretty much anyone that I've met so far. Well, I'd say anyone that I've met so far and including myself, the peak experiences need to be followed up with a valley experience of some sort. Now, this does not have to turn into a negative experience at all. And that's exactly what I want to teach you in this lesson. But a valley experience is where after you've peaked, you come quote unquote down a little bit to rest. It's a valley. You're resting in a valley. You're giving yourself a little bit of time. You're giving your body and your mind and your conditioning a little bit of time to integrate and catch up with all the new and dynamic energies that you've been integrating and downloading at your peak experiences. All those new realizations and visions and all those new um, opportunities that you've been attracting to yourself, they might seem to slow down for a little bit. Some things might to be, might seemingly be on hold for a bit and that's okay. You need to redefine this from a holistic understanding in order to be fully okay with this. So it's very important that when a peak experience is followed up with a valley experience or a valley period in your life, that you do not judge this negatively at all, but that you come to it with a holistic understanding and a holistic set of definitions so that you're now able to recognize these experiences, not as things not going your way, not as you being necessarily blocked or 
um, having a whole bunch of negative definitions that you're having to look at, it doesn't necessarily always mean that you're blocking the flow of life. Sometimes it is actually part of the natural rhythm, just like a wave. So in order to have forward motion, in a sense, your life will have to reflect that wave-like motion, the rhythmic motion that you see all across the universe, all across creation. It's that spiraling energy that needs to be, in a sense, go up and down, up and down. Now, the ups and downs doesn't mean that you're losing progress. This is very important to understand. A lot of people, when they are reaching a valley experience, they start to define this as, oh, all my progress is lost, or I thought I was self-realized, or I thought I was empowered, or I thought I was over this already, or I thought that things were going my way and my higher self loved me again, and now, now it seems to not be looking up for me at all. I'm blocked, or I'm not loved anymore, or see, it wasn't true to begin with. The skeptical mind can come back. In a sense, every valley experience for most people is sort of a day two challenge, if you remember that lesson of the three-day process. So, um, it's very important to define entering a valley experience positively. And so instead of visualizing it as ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs, I want you to visualize this line as going up and having a valley experience, going further up and having a valley experience, going further up and having a valley experience. And you will start to understand and see an experience looking back upon your life, that your valley experiences today are still vibrationally way higher and more aligned and holistically connected to your overall being than your peak experiences, say, one year ago. So this is a natural part of growing. This is a natural part of expanding beyond your limiting paradigms. And so another way to call the valley experience is the experience of integration or the time for integration. What are you integrating? You're integrating all the new data and knowledge and transformation that you gathered at your peak experiences. And now, in a sense, the more human side of you, the body-mind experience of you, that part of your creation, in a way, wants to catch up with you so that it can continue to be a platform for supporting your experience and your growth. It is like the foundation is being restructured. It's being all tossed up in the air when you're having your peak experience. And now it sort of needs to fall down and fall into place and form a new kind of a foundation for you to jump into your next experience from. If everything was to just be blasted out into space all the time, like a peak experience does, at some point you would simply no longer have any relatability to anyone nor to your own theme. And you wouldn't really know who you are or where you're at or what you're doing. And to an extent, you will continue to grow into this direction anyway, that you don't really know who you are or where your boundaries are or what's real or what's not real. But by having many, many integration periods before you get to that stage of self-realization, you will allow yourself to get used to this gradually and you will allow yourself to still be able to function properly and in an exciting way because now you've integrated those expansions in a way that you also have the foundation worked out. So I want you to start appreciating those valley experiences where things do not move as fast and change as fast and where data does not come to you perhaps in as large of a package when you're downloading information, when you're becoming more aware of who you are. And it seems to be a little bit more of a human time frame, a little bit more slow, a little bit more um, normal in a way. And that's okay. You need to define this as, ah, oh, this is perfect. And oftentimes those are the perfect times to actually go back to the enlightenment courses and go back to the self-realization path. So that's like also part of why I believe these two paths, the path of self-realization and the path of self-actualization go hand in hand. It's because I've observed the natural rhythm of this universe and of beings and of spiritual progress from a human perspective and even beyond that. And this wave type quality of the peaks and valleys is consistently present throughout a spiritual journey. So in order to appreciate that, you can also see that the peaks are sort of the self-empowerment, self-expression, self-actualization aspects of the spiritual growth. And the valley experiences are where things slow down and where it's time to integrate, where it's time to reflect and contemplate and understand more of your changeless, eternal self, rather than who do I want to be as a changing persona, as a changing expression of the infinite. 
So you see perfectly hand in hand, all of this will go if you allow yourself to define it positively and come to it with a holistic understanding. If you can say to yourself, both my peak as well as my valley experiences are absolutely perfect as they are and I embrace them as they are and I enjoy both the flavor of exciting, expansive, explosive expansion, but I also really enjoy the flavor and the taste of the inner experience of sort of going within and becoming a little bit more of a recluse perhaps or like having time to meditate and integrate and focus more on the principles of awareness is already here and feeling into the depths of the peace of my beingness. And by doing that, every time you have a valley experience, you will deepen your self realization significantly. So whereas in your peak experiences, you may not necessarily feel like sitting down and meditating, you may not necessarily feel like realizing more of the depths of your consciousness, you may just feel like exploding and being excited and taking on more projects. But you see, this is the natural rhythm of life. And so we need to accept and embrace and define positively so that we get positive effects out of these experiences, both the peaks and the valleys. So we need to appreciate both as being part of our overall expansion as a journey, as a soul, as a being, as a person even. That's it. It's that simple. Peaks and valleys. Define both positively, find deep appreciation in both and learn to recognize the nuances that come on when you're entering a peak experience and the nuances that come on when you're entering a valley experience. And so you can recognize this um, before it actually happens or while it's starting to happen. So you don't start judging and blaming yourself for not being in a consistent upward spiraling peak experience momentum and start recognizing that even going down from another point of view is actually you further expanding and going up. So start seeing it from an interdimensional holistic point of view where there's zero judgment. In fact, there's excitement to embrace that you're actually getting a break from all this expansion and data for a second and that you're looking forward even to the integration periods as much as you're looking forward to the peak experiences. Just take this in, watch this video again and apply this to your own life. See how it already applies to your own life. And most importantly, stop judging the valley experiences or the peak experiences. In rare cases, people are afraid of the peak experiences. So they'll create a static sort of line where they don't really expand very much because they're afraid to lose their foundation or their identity. So also look at that side of yourself. Perhaps you are a little bit too much in love with the faith side of things or the, in this case, the valley experience where it's like sweet to be by yourself all the time and integrate and like relax and recognize the peace of your being. Maybe you're holding back a part of yourself that wants to also express itself more fully and open that throat chakra, so to say, of authentic expression combined with love, wisdom and passion and inspiration. And so also open up in that direction. And for most people though, the problem lies in them judging the peak, uh, the valley experience that comes on right after they've had their main peak experiences or period of time. And then as soon as they start judging the integrative period coming on, they will turn that into a negative spiral because of their judgments and negative definitions. So this is what I want you to be careful of, mindful of, and start redefining the valley experience as being completely beautiful, perfect, and in service of your overall growth and necessary and therefore start learn to start enjoying these valley experiences, these integrative periods, and simply turn to the self realization side of the academy more, for example, and start embracing those lessons, start reviewing some of those lessons, and you will find deep permission and peace in those lessons to simply rest and be yourself in that moment and appreciate yourself. It's like taking a bath in consciousness. Do this during your integrative periods. And I assure you the next peak experience will come on sooner because you've squeezed and extracted the most amount of benefit and you've not resisted the valley experience. Therefore, it could actually integrate very quickly because you were on board with it. Balance of will and faith. You were participating while faith was predominant, while you were on the receiving end of experiences. You allowed yourself to integrate that experience. You were participating, you were receptive, you were defining it positively and therefore feeling good about the onset of the valley experiences. And now you're having a new foundation and you're way more integrated. And therefore now you've built this profound trampoline to jump up into your next peak experience of explosive expansion and joy and ecstasy and accelerated living. 
Thank you, appreciate yourself throughout all stages. Unconditionally love yourself. Feel rested in consciousness at all times. Be excited both about the peaks as well as the valleys of integration. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next course. Thank you.